Hi guys, Shimos here. Um, back with a big boys toy. Got this one about three years ago. I've never ever been around to building it. I can't remember if I showed it or not on the channel. I think I did. About a year ago or so. Um, I'm going to crack it open. And have a look at it. Because I'm going to be starting very shortly. In between the other builds. So there's no real rushness. This is one of my own personal builds. Sort of thing. Um, so I'm not going to rush it. As you can see it's 114 scale RC from Tamiya. Um, so we'll get the box opened here and we'll show you what's inside it. So bear with me. Right, our first thing right off the bat is the cob. And the roof. And then our wind deflector. So it just gives you an idea of what size it is and what's going to be built. This cob, compared to the Scania cob here, exactly the same truck, only on a bigger scale. So you can buy lights and all so forth this, sound, control units, vibration dampeners, you name it, the, the list goes on for these here. They can be quite expensive, um, depends where you buy them from. It's, it's going to have to come out. Do you get interior sets for it, curtains and so forth? You can buy different seats. As I say, the list goes on. So that's our main cob for it. So the rest of our kit is all comprised into these different boxes here. There's our chassis rails here, um, aluminium, aluminium, depends on what you want to call them. So it just gives you an idea. It's actually longer than the truck itself, the yellow truck. First box here I think has all the hardware and so forth in it, um, rims, tires and so forth. So there's one of the tires, um, there's one of your rims again, size comparison. Of the rooms that's on the tractor. These are plastic, um, coated in the flat finish. They do look well, but you can't buy the original aluminium versions. Again, they can be quite expensive. Our side skirts, our grill. So we get this bit of space here. The tires, you see it. More tires, and then all our hardware and stuff. I'm not going to take these out of the bags. These are all the next day gear boxes and differentials and grease and so forth. All your motors, uh, as your gearbox there, I believe, and all your differential gears, all steel. Um, your light buckets for your front, your wing mirrors and so forth. Uh, shock absorbers. Um, I think these ones are oil filled, you get oil with it. Then you get the leaf, steel leaf suspension as well. With some setup. Uh, there's your oil and so forth here. Sip tie clips and so forth. Um, screws and washers and other bits and bobs. Uh, don't know what that is. You got your hinges, yeah, your hinges for your bonnet, your cab to tilt forward, and if you want to open your doors and so forth. A couple of these spanners and all in there. So that's it. One out of the road. Second one here is your fifth wheel. More gears and so forth are plastic, these ones, but I can believe you, you can get them in the steel. So I've got a place notes for steel. Um, your engine, gearbox houses and so forth, uh, differential casings, the rest of your front grille, uh, your side panners, which are these here. And just other miscellaneous that's needed to build the truck itself. Uh, I got your aerial for your RC control which is in the store somewhere with the servos and other bits and pieces, batteries, chargers, you name it, but it needs to, to run sort of thing. That's a second box one. Third box here is your mud guards and your guards and so forth. Again guys, I'm going to take these out of the bags. That's when things start getting lost down the day. Petrol tanks and so forth, diesel tanks, should I say. Uh, 
more units of some sort, tail light lenses, back backs, and the rest of that body work. Um, front fenders, which is the red part here. Um, the flappers, which is our here. Not too sure what they are just yet. I think there are parts of the roof yet or up there. Sorry right, guys, had to let the cat out. Um, right. Um, all the bits and bobs in here. All that. Mud guards. Um, receipts, dice board, steering wheel, steering column. Um, all that bits and pieces. Mud flaps, as I said, yeah. Light buckets for your back tail end. Wipers and so forth, wing mirrors. Show that. Um, then your glass work, it's tinted. Your main screen, two side screens, and your light bar sort of thing, which is up top here. You have the paint dead, a mask that lights all forward, or just paint it all along with what you want to do. Front bumper. Your light pockets, spotlights, and so forth. Let's grab that again. There's a rough idea of a side it's going to be. It's quite big. And that whole cob just tilts forward, and you get access to your batteries, so forth, and all the bits and bobs that's in the truck itself. Then we'll have other smaller bits and pieces here. I'm um, not too sure what they are just yet. I got some more of the gearbox houses and so forth. That's an interior cab flooring. Your fifth wheel. Um, I'm not too sure what the rest of the parts are just yet. Put the last bucket, or last box, should I say, sorry, out of the road. Then we'll have our decals. Uh, I end up using these type. Of using of an or set ordered, slightly more colourful than this. Um, you get your own lettering for your number plates and so forth, wire mash for your grill, um, and then your Scania decal for the main front of the car. I think that's a list of the parts. Yeah, I, don't, I think that's a warranty card or some sort, maybe. And then our booklet. It's very intense, um, more the experienced builder, I would say. Um, I did build one of these a lot of years ago. It wasn't a Scania, it was no Volvo. I no longer have it, I sold it on. So there's a lot to cover in these manuals. So there's quite a lot. Most of this gearbox and your differentials and so forth. You have to get that right or it's not going anywhere. So we get the tilt and cob sort of thing here. And just to break down the, the parts. There's a multi uh, multi sign unit auto for this which I have as well. Um, Let's run back or forward, has indicators built in, sounds, horn, air brakes, you name it, the unit has it. You know, it's giving you an explanation on how to do uh, your lighting. So you can't buy Timmy's own lighting kit for it, but I'd say it's quite expensive, so I'll just do my own. I'm still looking into uh, buying a trailer for it. The trailer is roughly about the size of that kit that was built there recently. Well, these go guys, you get a rough idea of it. I'll probably do a bit of uh, bit S every week and just show it on the channel. Um, as I say, there's no real rush on it, it's all the series video sort of thing. We haven't decided on a colour just yet. Um, I'm thinking maybe a candy colour, but I don't know which one. 
As I say guys, there's a lot covering this. So it's going to take some time and patience. Um, some real thinking sort of thing. Because they aren't cheap to buy. Um, I don't want to mess anything up. So let's go guys. I think this video is on long enough. It's almost 11 minutes. So. Speak to you all later. Bye.